either God here coming to you live and direct with another video and in this video I'm up here working on the van since I took off from work I, I've been trying to disengage this little fan right now having a hard time doing it but I'm just showing y'all a little progress that's my original my main van out there so I just took these dirty blinds that, that I showed y'all in the previous video I took those dirty blinds down I got to um now I'm finna work on um vacuuming this place out and I also got to um disengage this little um uh, sofa bed it's a good bed but you know it might have um bugs and stuff like that in it from the previous owners so I'm, finna, I'm I'm trying to learn how to disengage it which I don't know how yet so that's going to be a learning process but until then I'm just going to bring my vacuum out here and vacuum up all these uh spider webs and get all in these crevices of this uh rv with my six amp peak um vacuum cleaner so yeah just letting y'all know show, showing y'all a little progress got me a little box fan now gonna turn that on while i'm working got my little um jackery up there all my little supplies so i'm pretty much doing it by myself uh, i know it's a um quite a few people out there that would like to help or whatever but it's all good i'm gonna do what i can while i can by myself and then eventually i can get on the road after i uh, acquire me some land because like i said i'm looking for land you know to um put, park my uh, rv on permanently or you know i don't want no temporary permit for parking it but yeah um i'm gonna get rid of all of this trash and you know vacuum out the crevices and see i need i don't know what i can do with all of that back there as y'all can see it's rotted real bad see i was thinking about disengaging this little piece right here and just like put like a piece of a thin piece of plywood on top of that on top of all all of that stuff after i disengage this little outlet um but yeah uh i don't know what i'm gonna do with this roof up here um probably gonna go to home depot or lowe's and see can i get like a seven foot i think it's like seven feet worth of plywood then i got to get the width of it and then once i get that cut out i gotta get me a saw and all of that stuff and then I'm gonna work on putting it on top of this whole thing. But I don't know if I wanna like scrape up this part too. Cause this one, this one, it's bad up there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's bad in that little corner. It's kind of protruding inward. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna just dig up this whole thing and replace this whole little platter with uh, a fresh new thing of plywood. I might um might have to get some insulation buy some insulation and put it in between those little grooves after I clean up that um all of this peeling. But like I said, shoot, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just going off off what I've learned by looking at other people's videos. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing today. I think I'm gonna be taking off those little panels up there. They are um, made out of fabric. And I might um, might replace them with a, a, a newer um, fabric or whatever, cause those are used. I don't know what's in them. Could have bugs and stuff. So I was told to replace those. And then I planned on getting like a little professional steamer to like steam stuff like this. I'm gonna vacuum all up in here these crevices, and then get me a little professional steamer so I can steam all of this clean. You know, uh, steamer so I can clean these blind, these blind, these blind a little straight. These good right here. I just need them steam clean or whatever. So I gotta get me a steamer. And this, this some plywood that I had got from work. But as y'all can see, I'm gonna need another piece of plywood. I got another piece back here, but it's a thinner, it's a thinner um piece of um plywood. But I can still use it. But I prefer like one that's about this thick. And um seven feet worth of um length to spread across this little area up here but yeah i'm getting rid of um 
I'm getting rid of this uh, fabric stuff. About to take this, take that outside. But yeah, I'm just uh, giving y'all an update. I see this bed right here folds out. I didn't even know that it folds out until today. Um, so yeah, I learned that today. I just got to see how to undo it. Let me see. See if I can do it now. Oh, having problems already. Let me see. Oh, I see now. I see how to do it. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. It's pretty straight. Yeah, I just got to um, clean off on the door. It's a lot of dirt, grime back there. That I got to clean up. Yeah, I just got to... I think I think I know what I got to do. I probably got to undo that whole thing. As y'all can see, it's bolted down right here. So, I don't know how I'm going to get the back part. Otherwise, I just have to get this cushion off. And I think it's like, um, what you call it? Um, factory designed inside of the um, the brackets. Like, it can't be removed unless the brackets are removed. So, yeah, I'm about to get back to work. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Either God signing out. Peace.